Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Well, no uh, special guests this time, no movie clips. It's just going to be you and me. I came across this article uh, from the Dallas Morning News. It says, uh, foreign-born workers now account for 17% of U.S. labor force. That's a lot more than uh, many of us thought. I guess the main thing is, we like that poem and the Statue of Liberty. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. And we'd like to be able to do something like that, but my point today is that we need to have some kind of balance. The U.S. unemployment rate right now, for the latest figures, is just under 5%. That sounds pretty good, until you realize they don't count anybody as jobless after they've been unemployed for six months. And the problem with uh, millennials getting jobs is is really serious. I've heard that uh, about 30% of them, that would be, I guess, age 20 to 35, something like that, are still living with their parents, many in the basement, many do not have jobs. In fact, there's a lot of people that are underemployed, doctors working at Walmart, and stuff like that. So there really is a serious unemployment program. Now, I'd like to point out, I have a friend who came here from the Republic of the Congo. He came here because of religious persecution, and if he was still there, he would be dead by now. I think people facing religious and political persecution need to be first on the list. I don't have any problem with that. But after that, there are people that have been waiting for years. And what uh, government economists need to do is decide on a reasonable level. I'll even use that word sustainable, which I don't really like a lot, but a sustainable level where we can have people come in and be able to handle that number. And we also have to remember that the United States is not the only country that should be feeling responsible about this. Saudi Arabia has promised to help. I don't remember the exact number. It was in the hundreds of thousands, maybe a million, something like that. And as of uh, about six months ago, they had only accepted 18 immigrants from Syria. Now, Saudi Arabia has a lot of oil money. They could be doing a lot more. So what our government economists need to do is just try to figure out how we can do this and make it work for both of us. Nobody cutting in line unless there's an extreme emergency like that. If we let people in in unlimited numbers, then we will be turning the whole U.S. economy upside down. The middle class will disappear, and the immigrants coming here will not have an improved situation. They'll be going down with the U.S. if if we keep letting people in like that. So, yes, we want to help people. We want to find a rate that will work and let them come under that basis. I just thought you might find it interesting to know uh, what percentage of the U.S. workforce was foreign-born. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. And be sure to check out the Wait Till You Hear This podcast.